Join the band. Has anyone noticed a sudden upsurge in female attendance? In your dreams, big guy. Hey, Anthony, wasn't there an abundance of babes down front today? I didn't notice. What is it? Did any of you see that homeless kid outside? He's inside now. I'll tell him to get lost. Can I help you? Yeah, I'm looking for the owner. She's not. What's going on? Well, I'm looking for a job. Do you have any jobs here I can do? No, I'm sorry, I'm not hiring. You have a nice place here. You heard her. Did you want to buy something? Uh, no, but can I use your bathroom? If you don't mind. Okay, it's right over there. Okay. I thought you said the bathroom were for customers only. It is, usually. That guy is scary. He's just dirty, that's all. I hope he doesn't keep coming around here. Don't worry. I'll make sure he doesn't. Thank you very much. I didn't mean to bother you guys or anything. I just had to use the bathroom. That's okay. At least he was polite. Do you think he's really homeless? Maybe he's hungry. I'm the hungry one. Dina, let's eat. Yeah. yeah. 
doing here? Gina told you she doesn't have any jobs. This is a club for kids. Well, I'm a kid, same as you. Why don't you hang out at home? Well, I live in a car. My mom works. She says soon we'll be getting the place. But right now all I have is a car. Not too much room for hanging out. That's terrible. Well, I don't know. Except for not having a bathroom. It's not so bad. It's kind of a big car. It's kind of like a mobile home. That's my ride. Nicole, you better come with me. We'll drop you off at home. I promised my brother I'd wait for him. He's still at hockey practice. Then you'd better wait inside. And I'm fine. Don't worry. You sure? Okay. Be careful. See you later. I think Anna's afraid of you. A lot of people are. Well, I'm not. Cool. Yeah, a lot of people in the street are pretty weird, but I'm not. I'm just tired. I'm gonna go inside and wait for my brother. You wanna come in for a minute? Yeah, sure. back here? This is pretty cool. Want one? Uh, no, nah, thanks. Come on, there's plenty. Okay. <laughs> thanks a lot. <laughs> What's it like living in a car? Well, during the day or in the summer, it's not so bad. I usually hang out at, like, the park or the mall. My mom, she works one of these jobs at night. I try to sleep, but it's not so easy. I always hear stuff outside. Sounds really scary. Yeah, well, that's why I like to hang out with those other kids around. Is that why you're here? Yeah. Well, you've been nice to me. A lot of the other kids aren't. I guess I don't blame them. They always look so great. Do you have any brothers or sisters? I have two brothers. And a dog. Oh, I wish I had a dog. Mom said as soon as we get to place, I get to get one. But right now, it's just hard enough trying to make friends. Have you ever had a place of your own? Yeah, sure. Oh, yeah. I didn't always live in the car. It's been kind of hard the last few years. Yeah. Dad left. Mom lost her job. And, uh, you don't want to hear my problems. I don't mind. Yeah, it won't always be like this. Me and my mom are real close. We'll get through this. Do you see that, Peter? Oh, I better go. Um, I don't want you in trouble. Um... Hey, Nicole. Sound like somebody who's back here with you. Your brother called, and he can't make it, so I'm going to give you a ride home. What are you doing back here? Don't, did he hurt you? No, you okay? no, don't worry. Stella, Mark and Tom went for the one for a time. Left the camp by a job. The man in the film suit hurried by. The catch the poor old lady's eyes Just for fun he said Get a job That's just the way it is Some things will never change That's just the way it is
What are you doing here? I followed you. I didn't want you running out like that. Ah, oh, it's okay. I mean, it kind of hurts, but I'm kind of used to it. So, this is where you live? Yeah, you know. Just temporary. Wow. Way to change. I know it will. What makes you this noise? Nicole? Hi, what's she doing here? Nicole! Nicole, what are you doing here? Yeah, Dina sent us out looking for you. I'm fine, you guys. Guys, this is Eddie. Yeah, we met. <laughs> is this? Yeah, this is where I live. You live here? I mean, what do you do here? Well, there's not too much I can do. I love music, so I listen to the radio a lot. It helps. I guess sometimes music can help you feel not so lonely. Yeah, it's true. I know what you mean. My dad's car radio got ripped off and it's the worst. Anthony! What? Is it really the worst? Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, you don't have a radio and I don't have a house. Want to trade? Do you have any friends you hang out with around here? Uh, not too many. A couple kids. Yeah, well, there is this one old guy, this homeless guy. I used to think he was kind of weird, but now I know him. He teaches me a lot. About what? About a lot. About life. Here, have a dollar. In fact, no brother man here have two. Two dollars means a snack to me, but it means a big deal to you. Be strong, serve God only. Know that if you do, beautiful heaven awaits. That's the poem I wrote for the first time. I saw a man with no clothes, no money, no place. Mr. Wendell, that's his name. No one ever knew his name, because he's a no one. Never thought twice about spending on a no bum until I had the chance to really get to know one. Now that I know him, to give him money is some charity. Give me some knowledge, I buy him some food. They think you spend all that money on big colleges. Still, most of y'all come out confused. Go ahead, Mr. Wendell. that you and I think is dumb. Free to be without the worries of a quick to dis society for Mr. Wendell's a bum. His only worries are sickness and occasional harassment by the police in their chase. Uncivilized we call him, but I just saw him eat off the food we waste. Civilization, are we really civilized? Yes or no? Who are we to judge when thousands of innocent men could be brutally enslaved and killed over an ancient grudge? Mr. Wendell has tried to warn us about our ways, but we don't hear him talk. It is our fault when we've gone too far, and we got this far because of him we walk. Mr. Wendell, a man, a human in flesh, but not by law. I feed you dignity to stand with pride, realizing all in all, you stand tall. Go ahead, oh. Mr. Wendell. Hey. Oh. Yeah, you're right. Anyway, we got a concert coming up. I'm hungry again. Yeah, yeah, me too. Are you hungry too? You can buy a sandwich. Nah, no, 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 that's okay. Come with us anyway. You might get hungry on the way. Yeah, come back with us, Eddie. Cool, thanks. Alright. Bye. Auditioning him. Might be joining the band. Charlie, please. So he's not joining the band. He's with the band. He's our friend. He is. Yesterday you were afraid of him, but today he's your friend? We changed our minds. You changed your minds? 
I guess that means I changed my mind about him too, right? I'm Dina. Eddie. <laughs> No, I better go. Maybe some other time. Hey, Eddie. I'm glad you're still here. We've got a major crowd inside today, and I'm a little short on staff. Do you think you could help us out? Oh, looking like this? <laughs> well, I've got a shower backstage, and I could loan you a clean T-shirt. Yeah, it'd really help out my mom if I got a summer job. Well, I can't hire you full time, but I'd be glad to make some calls for you. Hey, anything would be great. Thanks a lot. Sure. I'm sorry if I seemed rude before. It's hard to put yourself in someone else's shoes. You made me stop and think how great I have it, how great these kids have it. We're pretty lucky, I guess. Hey, I'm the lucky one. Friends, job, what more can I ask for? <laughs> Let's get busy. Okay. <laughs> Haley, uh, look, thanks, but no thanks. Come on. <laughs> Peace of the night. 